Hello and welcome to the 68th tutorial in the C++ programming series. Just a quick, sorry that I didn't do any videos yesterday on the 17th of July 2014. I was supposed to usually do at least two a day. That's the aim for the tutorials. And didn't do two, it's not there, I didn't forget. Was a little busy, was at my university graduation. So that's over and done with now. So I, I'm getting back into the swing of things of creating videos. So I will make up for those, probably over the next week or so, do an extra video uh, for a couple of days. But just a little heads up and a, a little FYI actually. Sorry about that. But yeah, let's get into this tutorial. In this part, we're going to be looking at the preprocessor line directive. The line directive helps the compiler provide more useful and meaningful information when a compilation error occurs. You specify a line number, aka an integer, that you want the compiler to inform you of and an optional error message. So let's just show you what I mean. And when I mention line number, obviously that line number, the line number doesn't have to be what the actual line number is. As you can see, this line number is 16. If you was to put some sort of error here or to put the line directive here, then it wouldn't necessarily pump out 16. You could pump out wherever you want. Like it, you could use the number as an ID of sorts. That is a good way to think of it. So you can easily think, oh, if you get an, on an ID 400, it's like, yeah, I know where that is. So it's not necessarily a line number. Um, I like to think it more of an identification number. Okay, so let's just get rid of this a second. And what you do to do this uh, line directive, you do hash, line, and then after you put your, your optional number for 999, and then you put your error message, which is optional. The number is necessary, the no, the message is optional, so for trouble, declaring integer, A, B, C, D, E, just, just a random error, then put A int, A, B, C, D, E, open, close, curly brackets, close, curly brackets, close, curly brackets, open, close, open, curly brackets, semicolon, and th this obviously isn't going to run, but that's the whole point of it. So if I were to just run this, we get an error. We are here, trouble declaring, uh, trouble declaring integer A, B, C, D, E. At the moment, you can't see the number, but if you right click and go, mm, yeah, revealing log, and we get here, this number right here, 999, is the not number that we specified. So if we just change it to, let's try something else, 370, no, 470, run it, and we get an error again, but let's just see what the error is. And we'll just go to the errors, we get the same error message, and if we just right click on this, revealing log, we get the error 470, or the number 470 right here. So that, that, is it. that really is it for the preprocessor line directive. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at the preprocessor error directive. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.